Well, 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 Wildlanders, today the greatest critic of all time will take a look at you. You know what, just imagine a game, and I don't like it, no but, it's just not good enough for me. I'm a gamer with 20 plus years of experience, and you know what, I don't like all games I played before, not even one. Welcome friends, and yes, today we're gonna take a look at the Wildlanders. It's a party based RPG filled with Celtic mythology and a lot of legends. And this game is just a huge one. Just imagine 12 hours of cutscenes. Whoa, it's impressive. And developers say it will be a new Dragon Age. But somehow this game received tons of bad and negative reviews. But is Waylanders really that bad? Let's find out. But before that, friends, leave a like and subscribe to my channel, cause I have tons of interesting videos for you. And let's start. What about a story? One day a Celtic king decided to meet the gods themselves, but something gone wrong, and now the terrible war between the humans and the gods rage upon the land, tearing it all apart. And once a flourishing lands dive into the chaos, multiple fractions fighting with each other, a magical corruption appears. There are no more peace in this land. You will have to travel to different eras. One is ancient, full of gods and immortal creatures, and the other is era where magic is fading, religion is everywhere, and so much has changed. And here I am, standing on this cliff. Will I dare to take the challenge and dive into this adventure? And I say yes, cause I like the story, I like the crooks, and the game world promised to be just huge, full of interesting lore. So let's start. And the first thing that will meet us in the game will be a character creation. So what do we have here? We can choose to be a male or female and can choose our race. There will be four races, humans, werewolves, wow, a Morian and a Semiformorian. Very interesting, and look at that, different races have different resistances. So humans are resistant to water, wind, earth and fire, of course fire. There also will be classes warrior, guardian, rogue, ranger, a sorcerer, hmm, my class, and a healer of course. And we can choose a background. And look at that. Not every class can have choices actually. So if I choose to be a werewolf for example, I can choose only one background, alpha wolf. And what can I say? So far I love it, let's continue. We can customize our hero, make him look like a real alpha wolf. And now we have a stats, we have a classical stats like strength, constitution, agility, perception, intelligence and willpower. What can I say? Character creation looks fine, it really looks good, so big plus for me, let's move on. All the knowledge in the world, there, at your fingertips ready for your ravenous mind to devour for all the days of your life. Voiceover is so good, is so pleasant for years, it helps to dive into the game deeper, it almost good as my own voice. Now let's talk about dialogues, cause I read a lot of people complaining that dialogues are bad, the character is, is acting like a teenage girls, and it's not interesting at all, and here is my opinion. Yes, the dialogues is a little bit unusual, I don't expect a strong words in these dialogues, and there will be tons of them, and what can I say? 
The game will have different tons of characters and all of them act differently. Yes, there will be stupid characters who will talk stupidly, there will be arrogant, brave, different kind of characters. And when a mortal creature who lives thousand years talks stupidly, it's completely fine with me. Who says that the mortal creature must be smart? They can be stupid, why not? But I believe it's a personal preference and different people will have different opinions. As for me, it's completely fine. And now a first thing that I really don't like in this game and it's camera. Yes, zooming in, zooming out is just terrible. It annoys me, it's really bad, friends. But the picture itself, a visual style, a world around you, is drawn very good, I really enjoy it. Look at that. Not bad at all. Now, let's talk about combat. Combat will be pretty usual for party-based RPG. Personally, I prefer turn-based combat. But this time we will have a real-time combat with active pause, which you can press, froze the time and then give orders to your team members. There will be a lot of party members in this game, so you will need to use it. Press that pause, give an order to each of them. Yes, you can give through four orders for each of your party members. They add to the queen and will be completed as soon as you release the pause. Wildlanders have a one very interesting combat feature. You will be able to unite your warriors in formation, make them more powerful and strong like one fist and they will act like one and do a lot of damage and a lot will be paid to this formation, actually every character will be able to unlock new formation and it's very interesting part of the game. Some people say that the combat is boring and in some way it is, cause you give orders to your party members and then just watching how they complete this order. Yes, they can make a combat more action so you feel it better. But it's not that bad. And I want to tell you about few things that I want to be better in this game. I want more of this. You see, this is our item slots. And we actually have a few item slots. No slots for belt, for rings, for necklace maybe. No, they are pretty limited. Head, torso, weapons and a bracelet. That's all we have. And it's definitely not enough for me. And the next thing is abilities. Yes, we will have abilities around this passive. Square is active abilities. But again, I'm playing as a sorcerer. And that's all abilities I have. So little, I want to have more abilities, definitely. That is not enough for me. So, what can I say in conclusion? The Wildlanders is not a perfect game. It has its own weak sides like combat, abilities, your inventory, camera. But from the other side we have a lot of good stuff. Like very beautiful visual style, interesting and immersive story. 12 hours of cutscenes, can you imagine this? So I probably take my chances and start this adventure. And of course I will make a lot of guides, so subscribe, don't miss it. And in the end I want all of you to listen to this beautiful song. And friends, I see you in my next video. <laughs> Drum shock the